So we are going to solve practice problem 7.14 from study cookbook. So for the op M circuit here, down here in the figure, find V0. V0 is the output voltage here. For T is greater than or equal to 0. If V0, V0 is the voltage across this capacitor is 4 volt. Okay. So I will have V0. Okay, V0 here. Is 4 volt okay let's take note there and then assume that RF is 50 kilo ohm so I will have RF here is 50 kilo ohm let's put the label here 50 kilo ohm and then RI RI is 10 kilo ohm so I will have RI here is 10 kilo ohm yeah, okay sorry 10 kilo ohm and then the capacitor is 10 microfarad. So I will have this C here is 10 microfarad. 10 microfarad. Okay. So now take a look at this node here. We, if we have op M, we have this characteristic here. The voltage in A it will be equal to the voltage in B. And the current that goes into the op M. IA and IB will be equal and that will equal to 0 ampere and an op M is not a KCL node so IA plus IB is not equal to IC okay and when dealing with op M we always use KCL so I will use KCL at node A node A here and I will assume the direction of the current so that will go there and this will go there and that will go there okay so now let's do kcl at not a kcl at not a okay and this also one more current that goes into the op m okay now let's start from this one so what KCL said is that the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out there is only one current that goes in here which is this one and that is 0 minus VA 0 minus VA divided by 10 and the current that goes out this one that goes to the op M is 0 because of this characteristic. So I will have 0. And then plus this one is VA minus V0 divided by 50 kilo ohm. So we'll have 50 kilo ohm. And then the current that pass through that capacitor, which is remember that the formula of the voltage in capacitor is V is equal to sorry the current in capacitor is I is equal to C dV dt okay our C is 10 micro so I will have 10 micro and that multiplied by dV over dt Okay, so now let's plug in the things that we have now. VA is 0. Why? Because this one, VA is equal to VB and VB is connected to the ground. So the voltage here will be 0. And that means that the voltage in A is also 0. Okay, so now let's plug that in. So we have 0 minus 0 divided by 10. That is 0. And I don't want to rewrite this zero so I will skip it and we go here now remember VA is zero so I will have minus V0 divided by 10k and then plus 10 micro multiplied by dV dV here remember that dV is actually d v 
phi 0 minus phi a. Oh, I mean, because this is the positive side, so I will have phi a. Phi a minus phi 0 divided by dt. And because phi a is 0, I will have 0 here. And I can take out that minus sign outside, so I will have 0 is equal to minus phi 0 divided by 50 k minus 10 micro d phi 0 divided by dt. Okay. Now remember that we have phi 0 is equal to 4 volt and that means that at t is equal to 0. We have that phi output, I mean phi a minus phi 0 is equal to 0. So I will have phi a minus phi 0 is equal to 4. And so, because phi a is 0, so I will have minus phi o is equal to 4 or phi o is equal to minus 4. So I will have phi 0 at time 0 is equal to minus 4 volt. So now I have a differential equation and an initial condition. Let's solve that. Okay, now I have this differential equation. Now I want to solve it. And how to solve it? I want to isolate phi, phi O in one side and the others to the uh, another side. So I will isolate dt to the other side. Okay, so now I have this one. So I can rewrite this as 10 micro d phi 0 over dt is equal to minus phi 0 divided by 50k. Now I want to move this phi 0 to the left hand side and that dt to the right hand side. So I will have 10 micro d phi 0 divided by dt. No, not by dt because I move this phi 0 here so I will have phi 0 and I move that dt to the right hand side so I will have minus dt divided by 50 k okay now I have this circuit and we can integrate both sides right so because this is a constant I can integrate just this one and because this is also a constant, I can also integrate only that dt. Okay. So now this one will be 10 micro. This one is the natural log of phi 0. And that one will be minus 1 over 50k multiplied by t so i will have t over that one plus some integration constant okay so now i can divide both sides by 10 micro so i will have the natural log of phi 0 is equal to minus t divided by 10 15k multiplied by 10 micro and then plus c1 divided by 10 micro so now i want to take a look at this one kilo is 10 to the 3 and micro is 10 to the minus 6 right so i will have this is 10 to the 3 multiplied by 10 to the minus 6. So I will have this one will be 10 to the minus 3, right? 10 to the minus 3 and we move it to the top. So I will have T here multiplied by, oh, I mean, yeah, okay. Let's, let's see what can we get here. 
So we'll have natural log of V0. We'll have minus T. And remember that K multiplied by micro is 10 to the minus 3. And we have 500 now. 500 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3. And then plus C1 divided by 10 micro, right? And this one will be 0 0.5, right? So I will have 0 0.5. Or I can move this to the numerator. So I will have minus 2t. Minus 2t. Plus some C1 divided by 10 micro. And remember that this is also a constant, right? C1 divided by 10 micro is also a constant. So I can rewrite this as some number. So I will have plus a constant. Let's number it constant number 2. Okay. So now I will have V0 here. And natural log. So I can make it e to the minus 2t plus c2. So I can rewrite this as v0 is equal to e to the minus 2t e to the c2. Okay. And remember that e to the c2 is also a constant. So I can rewrite that as c3, right? So I can rewrite this as c3 e to the minus 2t. And the unit is fold. Okay, so now our task is find out this C3. Okay, let our whiteboard is full. Okay, so now let's erase this. Okay, now we need to find out this C3 and that can be found using this initial condition. When V0 is 0 is equal to minus 4. That means if we plug 0 into this equation, we will have V0 is equal to minus 4. So I will have minus 4 is equal to C3 e to the minus 2 multiplied by 0. Okay. And e to the minus 2 multiplied by 0 is e to the 0 and that will equal to 1. So I will have C minus 4 is equal to C3 multiplied by 1 or C3 is equal to minus 4. So that means that our function here becomes V0. And because it is a function of time, let's name it T. So we'll have minus 4 E to the minus 2T. And the unit is 4. And remember that this is for T is greater than 0. So this is our final answer for the question. Okay, hopefully I did not make any mistakes in the calculation and thank you for watching.